girl Christy Mack and I'm back with another video. In this video guys, I'm gonna be doing a beginner's workout with you. You guys know I recently had a kidney transplant. I was on dialysis, so I know the importance of staying fit. You guys, I never used to like to work out, but now I wanna to continue to live a long, prosperous life. And so today's video, I'm gonna be inviting my dad on to work out with me. He was the biggest factor in why I started to get back into working out. Growing up, he was always preaching about health is wealth. And so today, if you guys know anyone that could benefit from these types of videos, please go ahead and share it with them. And if you're new to my channel, what's up? Take a moment and hit subscribe, and don't forget to hit that notification bell for all the best kidney-related advice and to be notified when I post every Sunday and Wednesday. All right guys, let's go ahead and get started. Hello, hello everyone. Well, you know, for many years, you know, had her kidney problems, so workout was not really an option for her. So now she's back to normal. So now I'm gonna teach her how to do some basic at home exercise. Things that you could do to stay in shape, also to tone your muscle. Again, remember, exercise is a lifestyle. Don't make it work. Don't make it, oh, it's a New Year's goal, I have to exercise. Make it part of your everyday life. So if it's every day and it's part of your routine, then exercise becomes normal. It doesn't feel like something that you have to go out of the way to get done. So basically, before she got into the weights, I had her walking, building up her cardiovascular system because the body got to get acclimated to working out, get your breathing, get your lungs, get everything back up and running and running good. So today, the key to it is the core, your stomach. Stomach is the key because a lot of people work out and train and ignore their midsection. That is where the strength is. That supports your back, it supports your whole body structure. So today, I'm gonna to get her into some basic, basic core workout where she's not putting too much stress on her stomach, her spine, her lower back. Just basic stuff to get her going. So basically, things you can do at home. Get a mat, and today I'm gonna to teach her how to do basic stomach workout, and then she can progress into more advanced. All right, y'all, don't make fun of me. It's been years. <laughs> so a lot of people get into doing their stomach and all the twisting and rocking and pushing. And they're not ready for that. So she needs to start from the base to the advanced. So today, we're going to strengthen the core, the lower stomach, the upper stomach. So, so we're going to go down, keep your foot together, and you use your arm to support and feel the tension. Use your arm to help support you up. Tighten slowly, arm up. Do as many as you can. As many as you can every day before you work out. Get used to building your stomach. That is your strength. That is your support. That gonna keep you from injury, back problems, hip problems, lower back, every day before your workout. Strengthen your core, do as many as you can. Sometimes you wanna just hold it slowly, down, up, Breathe. When you come up, take a deep breath. When you're going down, hold it to tighten, tighten your core. All right, up, okay. So that's your basic at home workout. Don't need to be at a gym, right from your home. Remember guys, lifestyle. Make it your lifestyle. Every day, you get up, you shower, you eat, you get home, in the morning or before you work out because coming back to herself exercise is very important
keeps her blood pressure regulated, keeps her sugar regulated. It makes you feel good mentally and physically. You feel good about yourself, your confidence is good. It just boosts your confidence. All right, so now, the next workout. I'm gonna show you a basic, complete body workout. Now, you can isolate those in different times and different days, but I'm gonna show you the basic fundamental of toning your body. All right, so I'm gonna show her, show Chrissy how to do basic shoulder workout. Feet planted on the ground, pick a weight, you're comfortable with at first. Up, down, and breathe while you're working out. Breathe. Basic. Now you may want to do my, maybe 15, 15 reps, three to four sets. Okay? That is your basic shoulder. You see? Try it. Because you know, the muscle takes time to develop basic and always breathe. Practice your breathing. Okay. Coming down long enough? Yeah, that's good. So shoulder workout. Okay. So every day you could change your workout. Now this today we're gonna do a complete body workout. From from shoulders all the way down to calves. Okay, now the next one will be your traps. Breathing, using a weight that you're comfortable with at first. Comfort, get used to the form, getting it right. Okay, try it. All right, Chrissy, remember, put your foot together, posture, pull up, and think about the muscle when you're doing it. Put your mind on the muscle that you're working on. You're working out your traps, okay? You're trying to develop your traps, Get some isolation. And as you get used to the workout, you increase the weight where you don't have to lift heavy weights. Your goal is to tone and get your body looking the way you want it to look. Okay? okay. The next one would be arm, arm lift. You could do one and never go too high, straight ahead, or you can do both, or you could isolate. Not too fast, slow. So basically, you put your mind on that muscle, concentrate Up here. what you're working out. You're working out your delts, you're working out your traps. So put your mind on the muscle, concentrate. So a lot of time people work out not knowing what they're doing, but See, I'm working out my delts, my traps. I want to isolate. Okay? I want to isolate. Breathe. But these are things you could do at your home. All right, Chrissy? So basically, what she's doing is learning the basic workout at home. Okay? Slow and hold down. Slow, hold down. And then you could go try both, both arms at the same time. Hold and down. So these exercises will tone your body, sculpt your body, isolating the muscle, start developing definition. You're not trying to lift heavy weights, you're just trying to tone, get your body used to working out again. Okay? 
And these are basic shoulder workouts. There's many more, but today we're just showing you the basic stuff you could do at home. You know, a lot of people get into working out and they get bored because exercise is not fun to them. It's not a lifestyle. Make it a lifestyle. Part of your everyday routine. And then it becomes fun because now it's your way of life. You see the results. The next one we talk about the chest workout. Okay. A lot of people ignore the chest. You can buy just a basic bench at your favorite sporting goods store. So now we're doing the bench, the dumbbell bench press. Pick a weight that's comfortable. You're not straining, and you're working your pectoral muscle. Bench press, basic bench. Hold, squeeze, breathe. Always practice your breathing. You do four sets, maybe 10, 12, 15 reps. Do it till you feel the burn. You gotta shock the muscle. The muscle now is starting to build up blood and the muscle starts to swell. Okay? And you squeeze, come down. Best way to release the weight is to bring your knees up so you prevent injuries. Okay? If you're working out at the house, basically you don't want to drop the weights. You know, you may have towel flow, you may have neighbors below. Okay? Chrissy, come on. So we're going to do the tens. It's very light. Okay. So we'll practice picking, picking up the weights. Okay. And concentrate. Remember, everything you do, put your mind on the muscle that you're training. Okay. Come on. All right. Up. So you go up. Light weight. We don't need a spot. Just light weight. Getting used to working out, keeping the arms straight, don't go forward, keep it straight up and put your mind on the muscle. Squeeze it. Get that squeeze so you're feeling your pectoral muscle. So you're building the muscle. Tone it. You're not trying to be a bodybuilder. You just want to tone to be in shape. That's all you're trying to do. Basic muscle training at the home. Okay, do as many as you can till you feel the burn and always practice your breathing. Okay. Exercise is fun guys, because when you see the results, then you become addicted to it because you're like, wow, I'm looking good, I'm feeling good, I'm feeling healthy, because sometimes it's a state of mind. You know? Confidence, you love the way you look, you like the way you feel, your body loves it. Put on your knees and dismount. Okay? And that's your basic bench press. Okay. Very good for your chest. Build the chest. But as we get older, our chest gets softer, the muscles start losing its its form. So you want to keep that going. Now, next training is our arms. We're gonna do bicep, tricep. Basic, basic bicep workout okay always practice your breathing keep your body together slowly down up slowly okay now when you come up Chrissy this way feel the bicep remember you gotta think about what you're doing not just pulling the weights so you come up feel you're working your bicep okay and breathe. If you have a mirror, even better, much better. Look at your form. Okay? Remember, make this fun, not work. Your goal is to get healthy, get your body strong, get your muscle tone. Okay? Muscle need to be worked out. Never say use it or lose it. Right. Work your muscle. Okay? It's not hard work, 
is just make sure that you're having fun and it's part of your everyday life. It must be the lifestyle. If it's not a lifestyle, then it'll become work. It's not fun. You know, like you have to do something like taking medicine. If it's every day, you eat, you watch a movie, you take a shower, exercise should be a lifestyle, okay? Right? Now, also, in the bicep, you have what you have called a hammer curl. So now you're working your inner bicep. Lock it in, and then like a hammer. That's what they call it, hammer curl, okay? These are basic, basic workout. Nothing strenuous, nothing hard. Just learning the proper exercise for toning a complete body workout. It's called a hammer curl, okay? So these are your basic bicep. Now the next one that's very popular, called the called the concentration curl where you go drop your arm and you think about what you're doing and you curl see so right now you're isolating the bicep and you're building your bicep you're not going to be bulky look like a bodybuilder no you tone it as we get older we lose our definition. You're towing. You don't lift in heavy just enough to get a nice pump. Then you switch. Remember, this is fun. This is not work. You love the way you feel. You love the way you look. You're trying to get your health back. Chrissy, for a while, exercise was not even an option for her. Today, she's back, she's working out. She's determined to get herself together. Come on, Chris. Here we go. Remember, this concentration curve. And not too far down, just enough to where you're gonna feel. Go ahead. So you're working your bicep, okay? You're not pulling nothing heavy. You're not trying to injure yourself. You're just developing and toning. And you try not to do too much the same, the same day because your body gets real sore. <laughs> so just getting the form, learning the techniques, the basic home workout, just having a bench, buying some rubber dumbbells. The rubber ones are good. They don't rust, less injury, they won't scrape your legs. There we go. You buy them at your favorite sport, sporting goods stores. There we go. Basic concentration curls. Okay? And always remember, you must think about what you're working out. Not just pulling the weights, you're working out your bicep. Okay? There we go. So you do, you isolate them in different days. Some days you do chest, some days you do arms. Some days you do legs. Okay. Some days you do back. Okay. Now back workout. Especially a lot of ladies like the definition in the back. back. Yeah. So when they wear a nice dress, you, you see can the see cuts. All that. Okay. So one of the basic workout for your back, which is not strenuous and you could do right from the home, is like just your regular oh. support yourself. Okay. Basic body posture. You reach forward. And you pull back. So when you pull back, you're stretching that back muscle. And you breathe. Breathe. Always breathe. Practice your breathing with your workout. Pull. Feel. The stretch. Make it fun. All right? Come on, Chris. We're going to use the 10 light. Again, we're doing a light weight. So we need you to gradually so like that. Right. Make sure you pull out of that. Right? So now when you remember you're going forward and you're getting a good pull right here. So that you're working out your So 
So just pull Where are we going? Where you going to go? Come on, hold the back. Okay. So go forward. Okay. Pull. Feel the stretch. So just stay here. Feel the stretch. Okay. Here we go. All right. Put, if you put your mind on the muscle, then you will get it right. Here we go. And breathe. Very important to breathe. Some people hold their breath while they're working out. Yeah, your body needs oxygen. Practice your breathing. Then switch the other side. Again, basic workout from the house. Don't need to go to the gym. Wonderful if you have a gym. But not everybody has the time to get to the gym. Not everybody has the luxury of a gym. These are things you can do right from the house. Here we go. Concentrate. Always look forward. So you're not looking down. And put your mind on that back muscle. You cut them. Remember, you're, all you're doing is toning. You're not trying to be a bodybuilder. You're looking to tone. Tone. Strengthen your muscle. For a while, your muscle was not getting worked out. So now, you're feeling good. You got your energy back. So now you're going to build your confidence. Okay? Good back workout. Basic back workout. Yeah. Now, yeah. right. Now, your lower body, which is your leg workout. They said, best workout is called a squat. Oh, yes. Now, a lot of people don't have the weights and bar to a squat. They have a simple dumbbell squat. Very simple, but it really targets the glute, your hamstring, your quads. Concentrate. Put your legs on for form. You reach for your weight. You put the weight right underneath your chin. Mm -hmm. Now think about when you go down, you do not lean forward or back. 90 degrees. Straight up. You do as many as you can. And you're working your hamstring, working your glutes, you're toning. It's about toning. Okay? Toning. Simple dumbbell squat. No strain on your back. Different foot angle. So, see I did a straight leg. Now, I do the inner. So now you're targeting your inner thighs and your, see your quads. Okay? Ready? Yep. So grab the weight. Always get your form first. Reach for the weight. Come up, right underneath your chin. Support, down. Pump, pump, pump. Build that leg. Turn that leg. Tighten the glutes. Feel good. It's about fun, lifestyle. Get your workout in. Your body feels good. Get the pump, get your breathing. Okay? So these are the basic squat. Alright. Alright? Basically, support, kick. You could feel, you could feel your hamstring. Okay? And you work your glutes. So you have long ones and you have the upper. Long, upper. Feel a pump. Cuts. No weights. Just basic. You don't need weights to build. Switch the leg. Up. Put your mind on the muscle. Straight hamstring. Up. Glutes. Breathe. It's important to breathe. Okay? Breathe. Straight, up, try it. Basic home workout, okay? Okay, feel, tighten, feel it. Straight, and when you go straight, you hold it. So you can feel the tension of the muscle. Straight out. Straight out, and now the next one you go, kick up now. Tighten the glue, go up, up. Here we go, put your mind on the muscle. Once you put your mind on the muscle, you automatically figure it out. 
tighten as you go up. Squeeze, okay? right squeeze them ham, okay. right, and squeeze the hamstring. You could feel the separation. Again, as we get older, switch. Yes, yeah, switch. The muscle loses its form. So, up. Oh. Also, when you do it, feel the muscle. Feel the feel that muscle right here. Feel the tension. Here we go. So now try. So try. Practice. Practice. And then go. Feel it. So you know exactly what you're doing and why you're doing that. Okay. So now up. Way up. Kick it way up. There we go. Okay, now you're working the glutes now. Way up. These are all basic toning muscles. Okay? <laughs> right? And your calves. Oh, yes. You wear your heels. You want your calves to look nice and cut. So just like having your bench, okay? You grab the weight, one arm, go up, not directly on your toe, but on your instep, okay? And you pump, and you pump. Pump, pump, as many as you can, till the burn, then you switch arm, pump, pump, okay? You do three, four sets, 20 reps. Now, the very first day, they will be very sore. So try not to do too many, because <laughs> calves are very, very painful when they're sore. Okay. So you go up, make sure you feel that you're actually in the ball of your instep. Yeah. You're not on your toes itself. And go up, and when you go up, get the hold and down. Basic workout from the house. Nothing hard, you're concentrating on your, from your shoulders to your calves. Okay, switch. Go up. And then you always hold it, get the squeeze, and down, so like you're complete. There we go. There we go. And those exercises, right, you'll feel the burn. You will feel the burn. These exercises are things you can do from the house. You know, guys, you know, I, I try to tell friends and family about working out. Working out should be fun. It shouldn't be hard work. You shouldn't have to wait till New Year come to, to make a commitment to lose weight and get in shape. It should be an everyday lifestyle. As I said, if you make it a lifestyle, it becomes routine. It's something you do every day. Now, there's days when you are busy with work. Maybe you don't feel good today. That's okay. Tomorrow you'll make it up, all right? Drink lots of water, lots of stretching before and after. Stomach is the key. Stomach is your support for your back, your spine, your hip, everything. And once you get that together, then you could start walking faster, you could start running faster, you start doing steppers, because then your body is used to working out. Just don't get right into it the same day and try to do it all. Then you're sore, you're in pain, you have injury, then it's no longer fun. So exercise is fun, you feel good, you feel confident, you look in the mirror and you say, wow, I came a long way. I used to be on dialysis, here I am today. I'm in the gym, I'm working out, I'm walking, I'm running. You know, life is great, but you have to make it great. You have to work at it. And exercise makes you feel good. It's part of your everyday health. Thank you guys. All right guys, so this is my dad. He gave us a beginner's at home workout. I know some of you guys are on dialysis and you're saying, man, I really can't lift because you may have a fistula. Well, take it light or just use the one hand, but just move. That's all it takes is just moving. You know, he preached to me that health is wealth and it's so important that we at least try. So that's why we wanted to come together today and make this quick little workout that you guys can do in your own home. Don't forget to connect with me on Instagram and on Facebook at Chrissy Mac. I love hearing your stories. Comment below, you know, are you gonna try this workout? Are you exercising right now? Otherwise, I'll see you guys on my next video. See you guys next time.